Yeah, that, that inside is. Yeah. If you come take a look at it. You see how thin that is? Yeah. And you see all that sparkly stuff? Yep. That's all from the inside pad being worn down too much. So. I'd say, because that, if you replace that, that will damage that, um, that will damage the thing, the pad also, the new pad. Hey, uh, so I'm looking at the, at the rotors right now, and the one on the passenger side, the inner pad, uh, grinded away from the rotor, and it, it took away a lot of the thickness of the rotor. So, okay. um... You know, usually once they start grinding, you have to replace those rotors. Yeah, so that's, you see it like there's no thickness. It took pretty much half of the thickness away. Let me just take a picture of that. Oh my God, bro. Hold on, okay. So, is she gonna get the rotors too? Yeah, might as well, right? Yeah. Is it any luck? Yeah, so it's spinning on this yeah. way. All right guys, so what happened with this car was, I got pulled out here to do the rear pads. Came out here. As you can see, all that brake dust in there. The car needs the rotors. The thickness on those, uh, like it wore about half of that, that rotor thickness compared to the other side, because it was just grinding. They're gonna go grab that, uh, grab the rotors for this car also. For the rear and we're gonna get them done so I'll just take all of these off for now ah, working on the wet today I feel bad when customers have to do more than they need to for things like this because you know times are difficult now everybody is trying to to make something happen and you know their form of transport which is their vehicle when that goes down and it requires you know hundreds of dollars worth of work it's not i don't feel happy about it although that this is how i make money but yeah if you if you guys hear any grinding on your on your on your uh, brakes get it done right away because you'll you'll end up paying more guaranteed you'll end up paying a lot more like for this instance they got to pay 150 dollars more than they would have they just got it done right away That thing is tight. This is my impact hammer, guys. Those spots a little bit tight over there. So the reason why they're seized, this inner pin, this pin right here, that one seized. That's why that the inside pad were much, much quicker than the other one. Ugh. 
This thing is tight. I'm gonna work this loose, but. Another thing that causes this, guys, is when people use the wrong stuff as lubricant. It works initially, and then you come right back with the issue because that thing is. Some of the lubricants are not made for it. So I'm going to try to. That's what the pen looks like. We're gonna clean this with the wire wheel. And I also have a file that I'm gonna clean it with. So this doesn't happen again. But first we're gonna PB blaster in there to break some of that rust off. I have one of these that you can put on the drill. And then you just wanna get it in there. inside of that out now compared to what it was on both sides we just have to lubricate it very nice and uh, that'll be good and this is what I use this thing is amazing AGS BK4 Sil Glide this works really well for these for these types of uh, applications And this is this one if you wanted to see. So you can see where it, it is that grinded. The rotor? Yeah, that's the rotor right here. You can see how it grinded. And you see how thin that is mm -hmm. right there. That's not gonna do much uh, as, as far as heat dissipation because it doesn't have enough thickness to dissipate the heat. I think he was just grabbing everything to leave and he didn't think about it and he, for what? So I think they gave, they gave you guys the wrong one. No. This one's much bigger. So, still out here with this car. And they gave these. Alright, so we finished that other car with the brakes. Uh, they ended up having to do the rotors as well because it grinded the, the, the rotor because the pads were metal to metal. I'm on to my other job, drove about an hour here because I did a starter for this guy last week and the starter went on it again. And I'm waiting for this guy, but I don't know where he is. Okay, quick update. Spoke to the guy. He said another 10 minutes. I was supposed to meet up with him at 7. It's 7.30 right now. I, I rushed to the... You know, today, I had a car today, that I was of, working on. Out of all days today, he decides to pay me for the check. I said, now I gotta go to the check cash and change this one. But thank God I changed it. Oh, man. I decided I'm gonna junk this car. Remember... Remember I was telling you about that, that um, what you call it, the Jeep? Yeah. What do you think about it? I don't know. I mean, it's a Jeep. It's good or not good? They're okay. Huh? Yeah. 
I wouldn't buy one. No? You know, unless it was newer. But the older ones, yeah. they're not the most reliable. They're not good on gas either. Yeah, it's a six cylinder. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm thinking maybe just junk this and get a new one. I'm gonna I'm gonna be spending money on this every every day, you know, every week. And I still don't know where the water's coming from. I think it's from the block. Yeah, if if you got water there, it's from the block. From the block? From the block. And it's that's not the, the head gasket. And that's not worth fixing, is it? No. Oh. I mean, it's they're not cheap. Well on this car it's not it's not worth it. It's not that difficult to do, but Where's the gas filter on this car? Uh, should be either on the fuel tank or... Um, Dude, she was saying it was one around here. Gas filter? Around here? I don't know, maybe. I think that usually they're in the back. The gas filter or the filter pump? The filter pump is on the back, right? The fuel pump and, and the, the thing is also... Oh yeah? Yeah, uh -huh. most of the time. My wife is going to kill me. That's your dad? Yep. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, by the way, I, I spoke to that guy about you, and he's waiting for you too. Yeah. I said, he can't tomorrow, because he got something with the family. Yeah. Or maybe he'll stop by Sunday. So, are you still look? Uh, you know, you still want me to come diagnose the car for you Sunday? Yeah, or yeah. No? Wait till you come. Sunday, no? Yeah, I'm saying, you still want me to diagnose it Sunday? Course. Because like, this think, happened, so I don't I know. I think, should I diagnose this one too, or what? Because if I'm going to be having the same problem, I so, mean, something has got to be causing this to, to, to do this. How many how many starters have you put on it? This is going to be the th third one. Third one. They're shitty starters, too, though, so. Unless you buy a new one, they're all reman. Reman, they're not. They're shitty starters. Yeah, because I mean, there's not much to diagnose. You, you are getting power to the starter. The starter is engaging. This one? Yeah, you, you said... No, we're just going... Yeah, exactly. So it is engaging. It's just the thing is not popping out. I think I should change the gas flow to this car. What do you think? Because I think that when I put gas with that little red tank, you know that you put gas in the little red tank, I think there was dirt in there. And that went inside the thing. That's what I think was causing the problem. I mean, that's what I think. I'm not a mechanic. I have no idea. I mean, you know what I think. So I, mean, I don't know which one should I diagnose. This one or the other one? I mean, what do you have to diagnose on this one? Well, uh, what happens if we shut down again on tomorrow or the next day? I'm having trouble to start it off. Why, why should that be? <laughs> I don't think. Huh? I don't think it's anything. I think it's just shitty starters. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's just shitty starters. Garbage parts because they're... There's no more, they're not doing it much quality control on these things. They're just, they're uh, trying to, you know, get as many of these as they can. Right. And like, they're not picking and choosing which ones they, they, um, they remanufacture. They're kind of doing all of them. No, that's fine. Is that going no, it's fine. Even if it does, it's okay. Whoa! Yeah, it's okay. Just...
So I drive from my house over here every day, park the car here, and it's gonna work. Well, you take the bus. That's a far drive. Yeah. There's no jobs close to you? No, not, not what I'm doing. Wow. Yeah, because I was wondering what, I thought, you know, like, when you said the diner, I was like, oh, maybe you went out, you know, for... No, no, this is where I parked the car every day. So I parked it here, then when I came from work to turn it on, it didn't turn on. How'd you get home that day? That day I had to call my sister. She came two hours later after I spoke to you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, but she's in East Stroudsburg. She's in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, that's, so that's, a, that's another 40 minutes from where I live. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that's not. That doesn't look good. It looks milky. Milky is when coolant mixes with it. Look at that. The head gasket. The head gasket. That's also the smoke that you're getting up in the back. I'm doing new charts. So I had to take the train in Hackestown at 4 30 in the morning. You believe that? Oh my god. So you've had a long day today, huh? I had the worst day. But you know what? When one worst day comes, a couple of days is going to come better. Hopefully. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but thanks guys, not snowing. It would have been snowing, it would have been worse. Yeah. <laughs> But the, the raining all day. Oh yeah? All day it's been like this. Oh my
doesn't seem milky, but over there it is. Feel it hear me? Yeah. Do you see that? The white stuff right here? Right. That smells horrible. So that's usually when they mix together, but... Here, pizza. I bet you got valve. Take a look, see if it, if it keeps running. Right. But so you, you think we should go for the gas filter? Uh, I would say the filter and pump. Huh? Filter and pump, right? Go, go to a gas station yeah. and put 93 on it. What is that 93? Uh, the best fuel. Oh, the best fuel, okay. Because if if there is any debris and stuff, you want it to, to clean out. Give me one sec. Okay. So it cleans out a little bit, right. just to get you home, you know? Yeah, yeah. We were able to use some sort of fluid to get it started. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you like this content. And I'll see you on the next one.